Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today, I am showing you how to install Windows 95 in VirtualBox. So first, go to your web browser and search for VirtualBox. Link is in the description. And then you click download and then you choose your host but for the first time we're not gonna go to malwarewatch.org because they're not good okay so i just put a link that i found uh, for the iso file that i need you i'm just gonna put it in the description but you're probably gonna see the screen and you're gonna click a server 2 so you click to download and then you know it's, it will download but i already downloaded it so it's an obligated and there's also another one and we also have the boot disk we need it for it to boot again click server 2 and you're gonna download it, but I also already have it installed. And also, we need we'll need fix ninety five CPU. We are need to go to what's it? Yeah, you need to go to this link and also in the description, and then click here to download fix ninety five CPU. It might say not secure, but trust me, it is. So now, when you have VirtualBox installed, go to New, and then you're going to name it Windows95, it should be a check, and now put your ISO image, which I have right here. And we cannot skip on the sense of installation because, yeah, we cannot. Just keep it the same and also keep it the same. The hard disk and the hardware, just keep them the same because it's not obligated. And then click finish. So now you have your ISO. But before you start, click settings and go to storage. So now go to the floppy section. And now you're going to choose a disk file. I installed the boot image, so you you are gonna get an archive, so you need to extract it, and then you'll get this. So like you go to the folder, then you'll find disco one dot image. Click open, and now it should be there. But you need it for uh, for it to work, cause it will not boot. So now click start, and it will start the VM. Okay, now it started. I'm just close that. It, it's gonna say start Windows 95. Now click, let's keep it on the first one. So now it should take like a few seconds. Okay, now we're gonna write F disk. And then click Y, uh, tap Y and then enter. And then one, enter, one. Now, click keep it on Y. And now I need to uh, restart the computer. Okay, so now you should restart. So, yeah, now you should have this. Click on the first one again. And then we're going to write format c c colon and then it will tell you this it will say that all the data will be lost but there's nothing on it so just click y and enter and you can just keep it blank so if you want to delete it one time just you can do it 
Okay, so now we need to go to the C drive. So C slash. And now we're gonna write MKDIR when 95. So you're gonna type this. And then you write CD when 95. And then you write copy D colon slash when 95 and now it should copy everything and then um, it should say for me it is 217 files copied and then you're gonna write setup so it's gonna do a routine check just click okay. enter and now you are in the setup. I don't. I'm now click continue. And then yes. And then click next. It just. Put on the typical. And now you need to put your product key. But like. I know one that is. I know one that could can work. Sometimes it's one two zero nine five zero 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 four zero 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 four two two six and then one one two two three three and then click next it should work sometimes it doesn't and then I'm just gonna write my name Then click next. Check both of them so you can get also. So now, just saying it's completely normal to get an error. Um, and you just need to restore the setup and it'll be fine. You can put like right now. You can put the fixed 95 CPU. I'm just gonna put it right now in case we get an error. Where did I put it? So let's just check if we put it. Yeah, we put it. So we should not get an error. Because sometimes we get. What? Oh. That's the error. Yeah, we should restart. So now let's just reset. I just enter again and now we're gonna go to the C drive and then we're gonna go to we're gonna go to CD win win 95 and then we're gonna write setup so we can redo the setup so now we're redoing the setup now click continue we're just restarting Click yes. Yes. Yeah, next. Click typical and rewrite it. So it is it was one two zero nine five zero 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 four two two six one two two three three one two two three three and yeah now I'm gonna just rewrite the name. Yeah. Let me just click both next. Let, 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 just wait again, time lapse. Okay, um, and keep it on install the most c common components. Click no, I don't want a startup disk. And now it's gonna copy the files, which is pretty fast.
but like, yeah, time lapse. Okay, um, now click finish. You need to remove the disk from the floppy disk. So remove the disk one, because you don't need it. And then click OK. So now it's restarting. And now uh, let's just re put the Pix95 CPU. So let's just reset. And now we're going to get the screen. Just going to. And just right now. And now we're gonna remove the disk, and then we're gonna reset it. So it should boot. Click normal. Okay, so now we're in the setup again. So click OK. Just and go and, go, and with the work group, write work group in caps, and then go to access control and go to configuration. If you if you're just fine, just click close. And now um, click yes. And then, um, you should wait a bit, time lapse. Okay, so now you put your time zone. Um, Beirut is not, Beirut is not here, so I'm just gonna put, um, I'm just gonna put care. And then click apply on your time zone. And then OK. Then click next. Just then click cancel. And now you're gonna restart the computer. So now restore it. And now you're gonna enter in Windows 95. Okay, so now we're entered. So I'm just right. My name. Okay, now it should be installed. Okay, time lapse. You know what, let's let just minimize it. Um, but, as you can see, also, the resolution isn't right. For the first time, you cannot use the, the VirtualBox guest editions, because supposedly it's not supported for Windows 95. But you can get, like, graphic drivers online. I have one like, with, that I had back in the day. It was a 250, 256 color ISO. Okay, so I have it now. I'm going to lab. We don't need that. So let's just go to settings, see if we have 256. And no, we don't have. Let's just go to advanced. Click change, go and have disk, route, C, yeah, well just VMP, just click OK and OK, 
just gonna click this. Okay. Apply. So let's just go to display. We start again. Okay, um, I just log in. Okay, now I have 256 color. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe and see you in the next one.